Hello Retouch Pro friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be playing with colors and test how good the Retouch Pro panel really is. So join me as we explore this amazing Photoshop extension panel. If you'd like to purchase Retouch Pro, use my link down in the video description to get 5% off. Alright, so let's start with the hair first. We open the Retouch Pro panel, go to the hair section, and then click on hair color. Then we click on the layer mask right here, press B for the brush tool, make sure that the foreground color is set to black, then we start painting on everything to bring back the colors except only for the hair. Spend as much time as you can when brushing, and be accurate as possible. Toggle between different brush sizes, and always double check what you have painted. To do this, select the mask, hold the Alt key, and click on the mask. Then paint on the areas that you've missed, like so. Keep in mind that in masking, the white reveals and the black conceals. Then to go back, just select the mask again, hold ALT, and click on the mask. We're now ready to change the hair color. And to do that, just click on the hue and saturation icon right here. Then we pick any color that we want by moving the hue slider. Let's go with purple. Then adjust the saturation and lightness a tiny bit. Okay, that's looking good. This is the before. This is after. Let's zoom in. Before. After. Wasn't that easy? Let's go ahead and change the eye color. We go to the eye section and click color. Let's zoom in so we can see better. Then we pick a color by clicking right here. Then we select the mask, press B for the brush tool, make sure that the color is set to white, then we start painting on the iris. Again, we paint slowly and accurately. If we make some spills, just change the brush color to black and paint over to remove it. Okay, that should do it, but I'm not liking the color, so let's change it to something complementary and realistic. Let's go with green, then decrease the opacity to 25%. Now this looks nice, don't you think? Now let's try to change the color of your lips. We go to the Lips and Teeth section and select Add Lipstick. Then we pick a color, select the mask, and again, we paint on the lips using a white brush. Before, after. Let's choose another color.
preppy red looks nice. Then let's decrease the opacity to 50%. This is the before. This is after. Okay, I want it a bit more saturated so let's bring it up to 70%. Then let's double check what we have painted and make sure the lips is entirely covered. Select the mask, hold Alt, then click the mask. So let's do some touch-ups right here. Alright, let's see what we got. Before. After. Sweet. Let's now try to color swap her shirt. We go to the clothes section and select change color. Then we click on the white brush down here. Select the mask and start painting on her shirt. So if you noticed, we're mostly dealing with the layer mask and the brush tool whenever we try to change the color of an area. Okay, so let's double check what we've painted. I'm sure you already know this step by now. Then let's paint white on the areas that we've missed. Alright, it's time to change the color. Again, we click the hue and saturation icon right here. Then use the hue slider to pick a color. Let's go with something green. Okay, I'm happy with this. Before. After. And that's how easy it is to change the color of clothes. Last but not least. Let's try to change her skin tone. We go to the Skin Retouch section and select Skin Tone. Let's choose this almond color. Then we select the mask. Use the white brush. And start painting on her skin. It looks weird right now, but we will adjust the opacity later. It's just easier to see what we have painted this way. Do you agree? And of course, we need to exclude the eyes and lips. Double check the mask and make some corrections. Okay, that should do it. Now we can decrease the opacity to about 40%. This is the before, after. So it appears to have added a hint of tan to her skin. And that's how you change colors in Retouch Pro Panel. You just need to paint white on the area that you want to change and that's it. No expert skills required. If you have questions about the panel, comment down below and we'll try to answer your concerns. Again, if you want to purchase this panel, use my coupon code to get a 5% discount. Please do me a favor and give this video a like, subscribe to see more tutorial videos like this, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.